Good evening, Rosa. Chicago. We are going to build out Johnny Iguana's Chicago Spectacular piece by piece, starting with just my buddy Michael Kasky on the drums and my own two hands. Stumbling home satisfied. That's like a that's like a 805 kind of a song. Now we're gonna move things up to like more like a 1015 kind of a feeling with uh, Jay McShan. My my dad had a Jay McShan record that I took from him and he became a big hero. I think he's a supremely underrated piano player from Kansas City. This is a Jay McShan tune called Roll 'em.
this is the time where we bring up a bass player that I'm uh, really thrilled to have gotten acquainted with over the years from some recordings I got to be on, and uh, now I get to play a bunch of shows with him, which is exciting for me and anyone else that gets the opportunity. This is Bill Dickens here, making his way onto the stage with great mystery and fanfare. The Buddha. We're going to do a couple of tunes here, instrumentals, that is, uh, that from our Delmark release that was called Johnny Iguana Chicago Spectacular. And uh, we're going to do two of, those, two of those tracks. We're going to start with a, a t an instrumental whose title describes the piano method in it. It's Hammer and Tickle. fun to come up with titles for instrumentals. This is one that has kind of a New Orleans feel, and I thought Crescent City, the Big Easy, Big Easy, Big, big Easy Women, Big Easy Women, boom, done. So that's what this one is. Thank you very much. This is a celebration of the wonderful ladies of New Orleans. It's called Big Easy Women. It's not really that, but it, it's a good title anyway. Trust me on this one.
I would like to ask Stephen Hull to come up here, I, who I must confess, I learned about him, uh, Racing Wisconsin or otherwise, I learned about him from Rosa's Lounge, because over 2020, he played a lot here, and the live streams, 2021, and I just started watching him and uh, listened to his singing and playing, and I said, can I team with that? That seems like a good idea. So we've been playing together and recording together, and uh, Stephen Hull is here, staying at, my, staying at my house while in Chicago, which is a wonderful time to sit in the backyard on a day like today. We're going to play a few songs now. Just a few. Just a few. Contractually limited to just a few.
Now this next one I really like because I get to get to show out just a tad. And uh, if there's anything I like doing, it's uh, showing out. <laughs> Testing one, two, a uh, little bit more, just a little. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, now I can hear myself. If you don't want me, to, I won't do it. You want me to do it? I can do that.
she take a notion Oh, and I wanna get up and uh, jump in the ocean I tell you that ain't, ain't nobody's business Lord, if I do You know, if I should get the feeling that I want to jump up and uh, dance on, well, I can't really do that on this ceiling. There's too much stuff on it. Dance on the ceiling. I tell you, it ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business. Lord, if I do. Just me and my baby. We fuss and fight. On the next minute, mm -hmm. everything is showing up all right. I tell you, it ain't nobody's business. Lord, it ain't nobody's business. What I do. If I go to church all day Sunday, and I can raise hell all day Monday, I tell you that ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business. Lord, what I do. On what I do I do Thank you, thank you very much now, I don't do that song for everybody So I do that just for y'all And, and y'all Special events Special events Chicago Spectacular actually We're gonna do this is a tune that we uh, that Larry Scholar who produced this record on, on Delmark that we put out had uh, we were kind of looking for something a little different to do and as soon as he mentioned Gil Scott Heron I got excited because I've been playing this song just instrumentally for years and uh, you know he's associated with kind of street poetry like proto 
proto rap, but but he called himself a bluesologist, and he was from Chicago, so it's a really good choice, I think, and it's a cool song to play. And uh, we're gonna do it. It's called Lady Day and John Coltrane from Gil Scott Heron. You ever feel kind of down and out? You don't know just what to do. Living all your days in darkness, let the sun shine through. Ever feel that somehow, somewhere you lost your way? And if you don't get help quick, you won't make it through the day. Could you call on me? You call on John Coltrane Now cause they'll They'll wash your troubles Your troubles away Plastic people with plastic minds Are on their way to plastic homes No beginning There ain't no ending Just on and on and on and on and on It's all because they're so afraid and saying they're alone Until I hear a rising, rising on a saxophone Could you call on me today? Could you call on John Coltrane? Now cause they're, they're watching troubles Your troubles away Feel kind of down and out You don't know just what to do Living all your days in darkness Let the sun shine through Living all your ways in darkness Let the sun shine through And if you don't get help quick You won't make it through the day Could you call a lady day There was your troubles, your troubles, 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 your troubles away, your troubles away, your troubles, your troubles, 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 troubles. Stephen Hall, man, that sounds good to me. We gotta find more tunes like that. We have a suggestion box, also known as a tip jar up here. <laughs> and uh, thank you to everyone who's watching who couldn't bodily be in Roses tonight. Maybe you're in Prague, maybe you're in Trenton, but uh, thank you for watching anyway. We're gonna play a song that somehow I scheduled after that the most intense physical song of the night, so I might have to, I don't know, like do 20 of these or something. That feels better. Okay, this is Land of Precisely Three Dances. 
which we're going to follow with Motorhome in short order. So these are also two instrumentals that are on that album that we've got here tonight on. So these CDs that we got, we kind of went all out. We got this artist to this fold-out poster with all these illustrations of the great Chicago blues piano players. And we subtitled the album, A Grand and Upright Celebration of Chicago Blues Piano. Pretty clever. Pretty clever. Come on now. So this is Land of Precisely Three Dances. Thank you. We're going to be for a, a budding cartoonist. This is it here. If you got like a Ren and Stimpy in the pipeline, this is for you. It's called it's called Motorhome, which uh, I took from the phoneme of like the word powerhouse. It just sounded like a similar sounding word to me, and I was hoping to evoke a similar uh, you know assembly line with you know people being caught in a, an assembly line uh, against their will. That's that's the image I hope you'll have as you as you watch as listen to Motorhome.
Ghost in the Machine. Neither of, the G, neither of these G's worked a minute ago. That's a Franz Ferdinand kind of thing. Come on, let's go. Now that they work, I'm celebrating these G notes here. G note sounds like some kind of slang for like a $50 bill or something like that. Is it? I don't know. If he's in the mood, I would love to hear Bill Dickens play a solo piece because he's got a million of them. He's a composer, producer, and bass player. Would you? Yeah? Okay, good. Uh, Michael, are you going to play with him or are you going to... Uh... Hello. Hey, how's everybody doing? So I'm going to play this song that uh, I used to play when I was with Ramsey Lewis many, many years ago. And it's kind of bluesy. It's a song called Willow Weep For Me. And I'm going to give you my version of it and hope you enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you. 
we don't know the song, let's do it again. I wanted to uh, say how, how what a privilege and joy it was for me to introduce all these bandmates to each other. Michael and I have been playing music in different bands and the same bands going back more than 20 years when we met in Michigan. Bill and I, I think, first played on a record about 12 years ago. Uh, and met Stephen, I did, uh, by inviting him over to my house to play music in my basement practice space about six months ago, less. And none of them knew each other. He didn't know him. They didn't know him. He didn't know them. And now we're like a little happy family. It's kind of, a, it's like, a, you know, it's nice. Um, at this point, uh, I think Bill's going to take what we used to call the Junior Wells Band and pause for the cause because Michael and I are going to play a, a song that I recorded on the Chicago Blues Living History album, the first one. Uh, I recorded this song that um, is a big Maceo classic, one of the most famous repertoire, you know, piano Chicago blues repertoire song is called Chicago Breakdown, a big Maceo tune. And I was supposed to record it with Kenny Smith, but Kenny Smith has six gigs and two sessions a day. So he left the session and I just had to record it myself. So now I, now I, want to, I get to play it as a duo. So that's, that's, that's easier for me because it's hard work. It's called Chicago Breakdown.
this is the time on Sprockets when we dance, which means it's, it's the time for Billy Flynn to come up, who's a, a guy that from... Uh, the only person I've ever, you could ever imagine from Green Bay, Wisconsin, that doesn't give a shit about football. God bless it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no one in this room needs an introduction to Billy Flynn, but uh, it's any time I get to play with him, it, 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 it's like a point in my column. I'm really, really happy about it because there's no one alive that uh, has this like feel for every kind of music that's fun to play in this style. So, for instance, he's pulling out a mandolin right now. Not the kind you use to slice cabbage. There is such a thing. Yeah, Billy's politely laughing. He's the gentleman of the blues. <laughs> Was my car being towed? Not yet. <laughs> my sandwich is ready. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the ladder. <laughs> yeah. So Billy Flynn's going to sing and play with us here and uh, take over the speaking duties too because he has uh, an elegance about him that I think I, I can't compete with. First of all, congratulations, Johnny Iguana, on a great CD. And also to Delmark Records, Julia is here today. Let's give her a big round of applause, everybody. Thanks for making a great CD. I'm so proud to be on it. Also, Peter Hurley is here today, a good friend of mine. He's a photographer and uh, also a, a man that's trying to keep the blues alive. We appreciate you. Thanks so much. His wife is with us tonight. Thank you. And uh, this is a song that I recorded on a CD I made called Mandolin Blues, and a Chicago blues mandolin. And the reason that I started playing this thing was because of a guy named Johnny Young. And he, yeah, you remember? All right, well, I'm so happy about that. Uh, <laughs>
to that woman in my lonesome town. So you can jump with the mandolin in your hand. Well, now I'm going to switch things a little bit and do a song by a man that really helped me a lot in music. His name was Johnny Little John. Tears. Yeah, what I do. Excuse me one second while I. Anything I can help you with? Oh, you got it. Okay, you I got it. It's all right. <laughs> Call off the search party. Just bring that one string up so we can do this.
pillow Ice water in my baby face All the good I done for my baby She left me for another man just said thank you very much everybody on the guitar in case you don't speak the language Billy's gonna not not go anywhere though because our, our, our mutual friend our mutual Wisconsin friend by way of Brooklyn Vermont Paris and Los Angeles Matthew Scholar is on his way up to the stage to play some harmonica and sing I've been playing on and off with Matthew since the 1990s Bill Dickens has also found his way back to the stage he cracked the code the key, the code to the stage security number uh, thing was one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm trying to do space balls. It's, it's, yeah, you think I'm doing great? Okay, that's good. Yes. Ario is the guy. Ar, when, you guys know Ario. When he plays his piano, he not only plays it but he fixes it. He's got he's got a, he's got a whole toolkit. He can just tune it and fix broken things. I've described my my skills as far as mechanical intelligence as a little doorknob in our house broke into four pieces and my wife fixed it. I was looking at it with my mouth open and like liquid falling out of my mouth. I have no idea how anything works. It's a miracle I'm alive. I'm going to turn over the talking to Matt Matthew as well. How about it for Johnny Iguana and that amazing album? All the musicians involved. How about it? All the musicians involved. Let's hear it for everybody. And that record is here tonight. You should get all the copies I have left, please.
We'd like to thank you. That was the cut off the CD, Stop Breaking Down. When me and Johnny met each other back in the mid 90s, we realized that we had one thing in common. And that was our devotion and love for the great Junior Wells. And especially that Southside Blues uh, jam album. Yep. And so we're going to do a Matthew Scholar tune right now, if you don't mind. Is that all right? Here's a, here, here's a song that I send out to all the mom and pop stores all over the world. Because I love mom and pop stores. This is a love song. And uh, <laughs> this is a mom and pop store, right? It's, this ain't the House of Blues or Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, they've been here struggling for years and years, and, and they're still hanging in there. So here's a little thing called Big Box Store Blues. Talk yesterday, we talked for nearly an hour. She wanted me to go to that big box store for a tank of gas and a bouquet of flowers. I told her no, baby, I don't want to go. See, I'll do anything in the home I'm here for you. I ain't going down to that big box store. You gotta scratch your membership card at the front door. Talk yesterday, we 
talked in our backyard. She said I could still shop in the neighborhood even when time got hard. I told her, yeah, that way Matt, he won't have to go. I said, you do that for me, darling. I won't have to go to no big box house. Store blues. Get a little bit more of that. Yeah, just a little bit. One of these more. B. Like brother.
We're going to do a couple more here. I just wanted to say hello to a couple outstanding musicians in the house. Rock and Johnny Bergen is in the house yeah. here. He's a friend of all of ours from long ago. He, he's a peripatetic. He gets everywhere. He goes everywhere. He's uh, always on the go, always on the move, always on the make, I think is just what his business card says. Also, Zach Verdorn, our, our mate from uh, the Claudettes, is here, too. Stand up, wave, throw some popcorn at everybody. <laughs> if not, somebody get him some popcorn. He's, Zach Verdorn is one of my oldest music, uh, music friends. and uh, uh, We just finished a long run that we're thankful to have returned home safe from and played a lot of gigs and a lot of miles. So uh, I'm glad you guys are here. We're going to pay tribute to the great Rice Miller, Sonny Boy Williamson. Um, Sonny Boy Williamson II. Um, for all you blues aficionados, yes, Big Box Store Blues is an updated version of Welfare Store Blues by Sonny Boy Williamson I, John Lee Williams. So don't bust me out. Um, full transparency <laughs> up here. And you can find that, you can find that um, on my Blues Immigrant album, um, replete with Johnny a guana piano all over it. So how about it one more time for Johnny Iguana? Here's a little thing called Keep It To Yourself.
should be a joyous place and this is one of the most joyous places I've been in two and a half years so I'm really glad all of you are here I really sincerely am I'm having a great great time playing music with my friends such as Junior would say outstanding musicians <laughs> there he is right up there I stood I sat many times on this stage with him this was this was Junior's favorite blues club in Chicago he made yes, sure that was. he sure made sure to uh, do what he could to make it a success coming and playing here as often as he could whenever he was in town. Um, we're gonna bring Stephen Hull back up here because we're gonna play one more song and um, we're all gonna play it together, as the Italians would say, tutti. But they're not here tonight, so I'll say it instead. Billy Flynn, Matthew Scholar, Bill Dickens, Michael Kasky, and Stephen Hull have joined me. And I'm proud and happy to say, it's titled Johnny Iguana Sh Chicago Spectacular. Uh, get the Delmark record, it's here. It's got a beautiful poster for your kid's room. Your, your, <laughs> your piano worshiping, your Sunnyland Slim worshiping child can put that poster up and gaze at it in the, in the moonlight. And while you got your hands together, how about a one time, Johnny Iguana, everybody, Master of Ceremony. <laughs> All right, let's rock around the horn here.
How about that Michael Kasky on the drums, everybody? How about it for all the fellas? Thank you so much. Be safe, but also have lots and lots of fun. I insist.